you're seated here at your table and you want to study some mathematics but you have no idea what to do. I think it's time we talk. And first of all, we need to understand some priorities. If you've been given homework, that has to be done. Now, a few suggestions before we go on to step number two. If you're doing your homework, first of all, make sure you understand what's required. Then make it a bit of a game. If you actually understand what you're doing, time how long it takes you to do, say, five questions. But let's say five questions takes uh, five minutes. And you have 15 other questions to do to complete your 20. Then you know that's going to take you roughly 15, or it should. And you should set your timer, uh, your, or watch the clock, and try to beat the 15 minute mark. Racing the clock helps time pass, it helps keep you focused. It also helps you understand how long it takes you to do questions. But there you go. Do the homework, ask for help, use a timer, just get it done. Right, homework's out of the way. What do we do now? and choose from these four things. You're going to practice your skills, that is, doing things. You're going to make lists of the things you need to know, summaries. There are times when you're going to have to learn how to avoid making mistakes in classwork, in assignments, in tests, just generally. And the fourth thing is sometimes when you're just bored you need to go exploring to become more aware of the mathematics out there and to expose yourself to all kinds of problems and puzzles and, and different ways of thinking. So these are your four things. And when you sit down to study you can choose between one of the four. So be prepared to invest some time. There we have it. Step one, get your homework done. And the, the next step, when you're sitting down to do other mathematics, choose one of the four things to do. Practice your skills either in your head or on paper, and do them on paper properly. Write your summaries and check them. Test yourself on them. Look over your past homework and your past exam papers for, for careless errors that you made. Work out what habits you're going to develop to avoid them and practice those habits. And then finally, you could choose to simply go exploring and have fun and challenge yourself in unusual ways. And this will open your eyes to a lot of other aspects of mathematics. So when you do sit down at the desk and you're not sure what to do, and your homework is complete, there are four good suggestions for you to consider. I hope that's helped. Uh, if it has, please leave a comment. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you click on the like button, and I'd also appreciate it if you subscribe, if you're not already a subscriber, so you can hear about other videos that I create. Thank you very much for watching.